Next, it's time to play Latifah's Child Star Challenge. Some haven't changed a bit. You were so popular. My agent, they were pimping me. But do you remember them? I just had another one of my brilliant ideas. I used to enjoy watching you every day after school. Who said this? Ooh, I'm gonna tell mama. And who knows more about TV trivia? No, 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 no. Plus, Splendor. I'm okay. I now on Queen Latifah. I learned that I have to be myself, and I just have to be me. And you never know what you're gonna get. It's a feel-good kind of show. Hey! You gotta mix it up and really get real with people. You're gonna have a lot more fun. <laughs> you wanna just keep it, keep it moving. take you back. Sit down, relax, get comfortable, stay a while. Today we are going to take you back a long, long way. It's going to be great. Some of your favorite childhood sitcom stars are in the house today. I'm not going to tell you who. I'm going to make you work for it. That's right. It, and you got to try and guess. OK, here's a, here's a few hints about our first guess. On his TV sitcom show, he was adopted by a family of a different race. He was cute and he was adorable and he has not changed a bit. What? All right, one last clue. Even though I heard some of you guessing, he has a dictionary named after him. Congratulations. I mean, it's like. Thank you so much. This is your second season. Thank you know you. what I mean? Queen Latifah's back. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'm keeping that. That's mine. That's yours. Oh my God. How you been? I'm doing great. How you doing? I'm great. Look, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> now, you made, in the mid 80s, you made Webster a household name. How was, what was that like for you? You were a little kid. Yeah, um, you know, when you're working, you know what I mean? You don't think about it. Right. You know, you're just working. You know, having just fun. Doing it. Was it fun? Was it it a was a lot of fun to me. Didn't you, you have know. probably had a tutor and all that kind tutor. of stuff? Tutor. And then I got a chance to dance with Ben Vereen. You sure did. You know? You got your boogie on. The Temptations, Four Tops came by, you know what I mean? We had the, the ball. Man. And, and, and it's like you can't even imagine what life would have been like any other way, can you? You, you don't, because I mean, that's, what, that's how I that's grew up. That's your experience, exactly. You know? We got some clips of you. Let's check out some clips of uh, Little Webster when he was Webster. Oh, and now he's Big Emmanuel Lewis. Webster, what are you doing still up? Now you're supposed to be sleeping. Uh, Teddy, he uh, stubbed his toe. George. <laughs> George? Didn't you tell him to go to sleep a little bit? I mean, it's a school night. Why is he still up? <laughs> You were a really good actor. So back in those days, what was it like to go out with your family? Did I mean, I, I don't think you could probably go anywhere without everybody recognizing. Um, we didn't. We didn't go out very much because it was just too crazy. You know. I mean, you know, when you go out, you expect to eat. You know what I mean? Exactly. <laughs> That's kind of... Mm, you gotta tell me. <laughs> you can... I've been stopped mid for... <laughs> you know, you got, when you got the rib bone in your mouth... 
drives you know me crazy. I mean? All of that is just, you can't do it. And then, you know, can you just put that down for a minute and sign us on? Can you take a picture? You know, we're just leaving. We're from Ohio, Toledo. Oh, my. God. Everybody's know? always from somewhere, somewhere out of town. Now, you actually got to start even younger than yes. Webster before you, when you were even younger, doing TV commercials. I was started when I was, like, nine years old. Wow. I was, you know, still in elementary, you know, mm -hmm. and just, you know, going to school, doing my thing, and then I started doing, my first commercial ever was uh, Campbell's Soup. I think we have these commercials here. Shall we, shall we take a look at some of oh his God. early commercials? <laughs> Let's roll those. <laughs> We got you. Man. On behalf of Burger King, I am pleased to announce that we have just changed the Whopper. You changed the Whopper? My Whopper? I am sure we have your complete support. After all I've done for you, this is how you repay me? The new Whopper has more beef than ever. More beef than Big Mac or Wendy's Single, and it beat them both for best taste. It's bigger? Tastes better? Why don't you try it? The new Whopper. More beef than Big Mac or Wendy's Single, and winner for best taste. Take it from an expert. It's terrific. <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God! That had to be just, fun. You just kidding me? What's hey, up? What can we say? Like, I think we got another commercial of you. Um, maybe this one is the Campbell Soup commercial. Oh. Chicken noodles. It's my favorite. Oh, it's better. May I have some more? There's one mm -mm, wonderful way to warm up a sandwich. Give them the golden goodness and rich warmth of Campbell's Chicken Noodle Soup. They always eat better when you remember the soup. Is that right on working all your life. Oh, my God, I can't believe it. When's you. the last time you've seen that? I have not seen that since I did it. Oh. You surprised me with a gift. I had to kind of pop something on you. Now, you didn't uh, just act. You also made music. Yes. You had, like, three hit singles in Japan, right? Yes. We had fun. We did the, um, a tour of Japan. Um, matter of fact, that happened when I did the, um, one of my singles became number one in Japan. And that happened, like, the year right before we did the Burger King commercial, which led to Webster. Wow. So all of that was like a, going toward a singing career in Japan and in Europe before Webster had started. So I came back to That's amazing. How did you to get chill. into all of this stuff? You, know, you my, came back to chill and got a sitcom. Basically. I need to learn how to chill like this guy. <laughs> this guy knows how to chill. You think you chill? You don't chill. He chills. He chills and falls into a job. That's what I'm talking about. Is this your parents? Your parents kind of like... My mom, my mom was out like, there and just like, no, my mom was like, you know, yeah, whatever. She really didn't believe it, you know what I mean? Because things were just really happening really, really fast. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I just think my agent, you know what I mean, they were pimping me at the time. They was like, you know, we gonna, we gonna get some money. money off this morning. <laughs> That's a shame. He gonna, he gonna work us, you know what I mean? Is no, it, but no, they were really, they were really like nice. That? They were really, really nice. They, they, they just kept me working all the time, and I love them for right. it, you know what I mean? Have you been able to sustain that financial? Uh... I just... Uh, my investments have been really paying off, you know what I mean? I've got a really nice home in Georgia, nice this? estate, you know, I went to college, everything's straight. Where'd you go? Clark Atlanta. That's right, represent. Represent. See, I think this is important because, like, every little kid wants to act, but, like, they really have to understand how important it is to kind of yeah. do the right thing with that money that you make anyway. Well, after a while, you know, for a while, my mom couldn't, like, work anymore, you know what I mean? I'm going right. to Japan and stuff like that, you exactly. know? So she had to, like, she had a really good city job, you know what I mean? That's you know, benefits, cool, you know what I'm saying? Cool. Benefits. Oh, I gotta quit my you job and go to Japan <laughs> with my son. God, so, that's terrible. Exactly. So after that, you know, from that point on, she's been supporting me, just, like, giving me everything, helping that's me cool. make everything possible. Do you have possible. brothers and sisters? Brothers and sisters, two brothers, one sister. Are you spoiled? You, know, you have we to from, be spoiled. A little, I know yeah, spoiled, yeah. Too. I had to be, you know. Well, we won't tell you no today. Either, I mean, except but I'm from Brooklyn, so you know, you, you got to <laughs> the <laughs> So there's a little reality based no in there, you know what I mean? No doubt. You know, That's I'm important. the youngest, so you were spoiled a little bit, but of not course. that much. You know what I mean? You, you know, slap me around. Like, oh, you, know, you, you had get siblings. As long yeah. as your siblings are around, oh, it's for like. Real. I'm nobody. <laughs> <laughs> well, after this break, a kid sitcom star who had golden hair and who we watch grow up every Thursday night on NBC. These days, she loves to sing and even has her own band. You think you know who she is? 
We'll let you guess when we come back right after this. <laughs> There's shopping on the internet. Wow. And then there's buying on the internet. There's a typo on your order form. A backslash where your call-in should be. So instead of a laptop... You'll be getting a cheese log. <laughs> Welcome to the sub-basement of the Cyber Mall. But Capital One card holders have no fear. Their cards are cyberized with online tools that make e-buying as leading edge as e-shopping. Click on CapitalOne.com now. What's in your wallet? What will he discover today? Baby power with the new Kickstart Busy Crib Center from Play School. One kick starts musical daydreams and <laughs> silly fun. And there's more to discover as he grows. Play School. Come and discover. This Halloween, find fun somewhere new. Pillsbury Halloween Cookies. Cookies. With Linus's great pumpkin and chocolate ghosts. Just slice, bake, and eat before Halloween vanishes. <laughs> My heart to yours. Pillsbury. Mm -hmm. Final hours of trading yesterday was no surprise. I'm gonna go. The market market doesn't open for three hours. The market's always open someplace. The creator of Sex in the City invites you to take a walk on the wild side. Let's go! Of the street. Why don't you check the ladies? For, <laughs> what? For ladies. <laughs> this fall, it's a battle of the sexes. You can't turn on the TV without having to look at two chicks tongue each other. Hey, now. Should I put on the costume? Uh, okay. Where sex is a game. I'm not interested in it happening again. In fact, it wasn't so great. Power is a weapon. If you ever mess with me again, I'll have you fired. Let's get to work. And love is always at risk. And you claim to love me while chasing after your old boyfriend? You lied to me. Fox presents a new series where men are men and women are on top. You got brass ones. Big, swinging brass ones. Next, Queen Latifah. Guys who say they were trapped by a pregnancy. Unless you yank that condom off of him, he is responsible for having sex. <laughs> but are they really the fathers? We're going to give you guys a paternity test so fast. Busted. You are not pregnant. Whoa. All new shows, all new Latifah. Webster star Emmanuel Lewis and other former child stars. Okay, have you figured out who our next guest is yet? Yeah. You have no idea. Well, here's one more major clue. One of her TV brothers recently retired from the sitcom Spin City, and he just won an Emmy. Who is she? Somebody said it. You got it. She played Alex P. Keaton's little sister on Family Ties. Give it up for TV. Are you serious? We filmed right next door to each other, and we were the only kids on the Paramount studio, and let me tell you, we tore it up. <laughs> Are you serious? What they, did you they do? They didn't like having two kids on that lot. <laughs> what kind of stuff would you guys do? Oh, uh, we got it. We can't even talk about it yet. It's still in litigation. <laughs> no, I'm joking. We never Man. did anything bad. We just it's had so... fun. We visited all the other sets. You know, we had solid gold, cheers. A lot of stuff. And then Arsenio. You had some. Now, you used to sneak on the set of Solid Gold, didn't you? I was you? there. That's where I would ditch school and go to hang out with the bands on Solid well, Gold. Wait a minute. <laughs> How do you ditch school? School is a tutor, right? Yeah. I'd tell them I'd have to go to the bathroom for a half hour <laughs> and run over to the Solid Gold. I no, wish I could have grown up in Hollywood. That's yeah. like, I, I got to use the bathroom. Solid Gold! <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. So what happened to the blonde hair team that decided to just switch it all up? About a week after the show ended, I chopped my hair off completely. I mean, I was like an inch long. And just Are you serious? Decided, yeah. It was fun. It was exciting. I, I love mean, I the love... way you look. Thank you. I, do people recognize you? I wouldn't even recognize you if I walked past you. My character Until on you the talked. show, it Until wasn't spoke. A, a major character. It was just kind of an average, everyday, you know, girl uh, next door kind of thing. That's not true. Everybody knew you. 
No, I mean, no, it's not a bad thing, but, <laughs> but I'm not, I, I wasn't like a Mr. T character where, wow, that's Mr. T, you know? Right. I mean, I was, I was pretty subtle. Let's roll a clip from Family Ties. So I guess the question is, what use are you gonna put all that knowledge to? Well, I was thinking of going to law school, maybe becoming an antitrust attorney, and possibly putting you in jail in a few years. <laughs> Under your dreams, Jim. <laughs> Two of our favorites. Thank you. My God. You had such like a dry humor. It was like you could kind of make someone feel really simple. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I had, I think, one of the best characters on the show. Was you did. always had the punchlines and I know it was, it was a lot like of fun. Now you have a picture, don't you? Because you said you oh, guys used to we, hang we out together. We grew up together, and they would send us every year to the Jerry oh, Lewis telethon. <laughs> and that's us. <laughs> Look at them. We, uh, we go to the Jerry Lewis telethon palace. every year. We, it's, we just like take the room and like. That was, was our school room. Yeah. Remember, we were right across that's the right. hall from each other. You in class together? No, we had separate tutors, but okay. we did some things together. Yeah, we didn't share tutors, but we definitely shared all our pastimes. Like, uh. break, let's go, you know what I mean? <laughs> so y'all was good buddies. Yeah, you need a partner to do crime. Yeah. You before before the party crime. came around, we had bikes on the, on the lot, and we just, you know, just... I'm so jealous. Just listening we're the to only this, kids. we had bikes on the lot. We went to Solid Gold set. It must build some kind of determination in you. It must have built some kind of character in you guys. Oh, definitely. It's... It's who I am. Right. It's where I come from, and it's just in my life. That's Tina Yothers, y'all. <laughs> That's Tina Yothers. That's Tina Yothers. So do you still talk to any, any of the cast members from the show? It, it is a business, and it is a job right. in that sense, where you move on to your next job, and there's a whole new group mm -hmm. of production and people that you work with. The, the memories and seeing Emmanuel today for the first time, and I don't know, I haven't seen oh, you in how long? Years. 15, 12, 15 years, yeah. something like that. Wow. It's oh, a, there's a, there's bring a place in your heart. Like it's a, a reunion. Show. <laughs> That's right. Oh, man. It's a yeah, definitely. That's so cool. So what, what are you up to now? I'm in a band, and yeah. it's, it's something that I've dreamt of my whole life. Uh-huh. And everyone, I mean, this is just something that I've learned recently in the past couple of years. Um, if you're not following your dream, if you're not doing something that's completely worthwhile to you, you need to stop what you're doing and find that dream and pursue it. Because yeah, right. there's nothing else like it. Amen. Right. Amen. What's the name of the band? The band's name is Jaded. Jaded. I think we got some tape of your band. Let's show some tape of Jaded, man. You go back to play games with my hello. Okay, so I'm gonna get some dates from you guys, and when okay. I'm out there, I want to come check and oh, play. Oh, definitely. Actually, my brother is the one that got me singing again. Um, I think I was 21, 22, mm -hmm. and he was producing hip hop, and I would come in and sing some, you know, some of the the, the hooks on the song. So I'm on pretty much every hip hop rap artist in, in California's, you know, their their track. Their Are you tracks. serious? <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, just singing on their hooks. Anybody and, we would know. Um, not yet. They're all up and coming, but yeah. So give us a name so we can look out for them. Catch-22. Catch-22. Oh, Catch no. 22 she, he feature. is going to love me for life Tell now that... Tell hook. She's singing a hook. <laughs> when October we come back, 10. she played a wise, cracking kid sister who loved to blackmail her brother and his friends. We'll meet her and more former kid stars when we come back. Don't go away! <laughs> Are you a mom who loves one of your children more than the others? If you think one of your children is exceptional and the others are jealous, call us at 1-877-LATIFA. New Fox Friday. 
You've seen chases and crashes, but you've never seen this. The explosive season premiere, police videos. That is the mid sign. You're staring him up. From the creators of the Blair Witch Project. Get in the Jeep, go! Freaky Links premiere. It all starts tonight at 8 on Fox 11. <laughs> Are you wondering how you can update your skills? With technology changing at such a rapid pace, it's hard to keep up. You can get the training you need to become a Microsoft Office User Specialist. This training includes Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, and access skills that are in demand. Classes are forming now at Bryman College for these exciting Microsoft programs. Call toll-free for starting dates and times. Great careers begin at Bryman. Doing great, Timmy. It's the Jose Ole man. Dad! It's the Jose Ole man. Sweetheart, Daddy needs money for a chimichanga. Uh, stop! Uh, wait, wait, I'm not kidding. Uh, uh. Want to get excited about frozen food again? Introducing Jose Ole Mexican food made with cheddar cheese, zesty salsa, grilled chicken breast, tender steak, and fresh tortillas. From mini tacos to taquitos, Jose Ole makes frozen fun. You've had an accident, but do you have a case? I'm Larry H. Parker, and we can tell you if you have a case right over the phone. We've been successful in 91% of our cases. Call the law offices of Larry H. Parker now. We stand behind our record. If we don't get you any money, we won't charge you a dime. Let them help you get all you can. Call 1-800-333-0000 now. Fighting for you is my job. Just think how much easier having babies and raising them would be if only they came with instructions. Since they don't, why not get the next best thing? WIC. WIC is a program that offers families free classes on nutrition, breastfeeding, and basic parenting. And WIC even helps out with food. So if you're pregnant or have a child under five, call WIC toll free at 1-888-WIC-WORKS to learn more. WIC. The Redskins clash with the Eagles on the NFL on Fox. Coverage starts at 9 here on Fox 11. Brought to you in part by Carl's Jr. Hey, what's up? If you're in New York and you want to come be a part of our studio audience, give us a call toll-free at 1-877-485-7144. Now let's meet our next guest. On her show, you could always hear her saying, ooh, I'm gonna tell mama. Ooh, you know who she is. Please welcome Dee for what's happening, Because you're a Danielle. Yes. Which, so that <laughs> meant short for it. you kept being a D. Yeah, basically. Give it and to I us one deep. time, please. Ooh, I'm going to tell Mama. <laughs> <laughs> that has been a while since I said that. How are you? I'm doing good. What are you I'm up to these good. days? Girl, so many things, so many things. Well, I don't know if you know, but I've been a veterinarian for the last seven years. Oh, Excellent. So Excellent. I've been doing that. And now I'm slowly... I remember seeing on television or some, somewhere someone yeah. talking about you going into that. Mm -hmm. I, it's been a love for, I mean, as long as I can remember. And I finally, I got into school and I, I graduated and I didn't really know where I was going to practice and I've been practicing in California. Now, you were nine years old when you started playing D. Let's take a look at you back then. Oh, oh my boy. God, D is in God pay someone to take Shirley out. What? <laughs> well, Mom, I felt sorry for her, so I... I went to this escort service and I got a guy to ask her out. But I guess she turned him down too. And it cost me my whole $35 check. Oh, you spent your whole check? <laughs> now you're gonna get it. Give it to him, Mama. <laughs> oh, be quiet, D. Roger, oh, I'm really proud of you. It was my idea, Mom. <laughs> Great lines. See, you both got the 
Recently, I have like about 15 tapes, so I've been watching them, and I just cannot even believe I'm that person. That's wow so to great. get to see you I as love. a kid now. Oh my heck yeah! Because you're now the doctor, the veterinarian. I'm the doctor, <laughs> and I'm still acting. Mm -hmm. I, I actually I have a series that I'm going to be in starting in November. All right, and what's the name? So of I'm slowly it? getting back into the business. <laughs> well, tell us the name of it. We're looking well, it's for it. out right now. So you tell okay, me. so you'll come back. When you're ready back. to do your, your new Absolutely. series, you'll come back and you'll talk Absolutely. about it? Absolutely. Because we got to have you back in here now. Did you have any idea this show was going to blow up like it blew up? No, uh, actually, I didn't. I, I, I mean, it was just a job, like, you know, everyone was saying. And uh, for me, it was just playing what I always wanted to do anyway. I always wanted to have a smart mouth, so it was just an <laughs> opportunity, <laughs> you know, to do that. And, and then when people were laughing at me, I said, oh, okay, I can get used to this. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Do you still keep in touch with any of the um, other cast members? I do. Um, I speak to Ernest probably the most. Oh, we, okay. we go hang out, yeah. he and my husband and, and his friends. We go to the movies and just hang out on the weekend. And Haywood, I speak to him every so often. I know he's back in New York, so. Mm -hmm. So give him a shout out, because he's probably What's checking up, you Wood? out right now. <laughs> <laughs> Who had the biggest ego on the set? Was it the Raj? Biggest? Was it Hmm. Shirley, was it? I would have to think about that. I just had Not lunch. Not ego in a With bad way. Sunday. Oh, did you? Yes. Oh, he is so bad. <laughs> I He's just so emailed bad. him like yesterday. <laughs> oh. Ernest. Emmanuel, you keep it. And for our, for our <laughs> audience, he played <laughs> Raj. 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 Okay, right. that's for everybody Sunday. out there. Emmanuel. <laughs> oh. okay. Emmanuel gets that's around. That's he that's keeps that's it shut for everybody. <laughs> We got Danielle in the house. Thank you so much for coming in today. We're so happy to have you. I mean, like, everybody knew who you were without me even saying anything. But now this is going to be a tough one for you. Maybe, maybe not. I don't think it should be. Um, but our next kid to come star appeared on only six episodes of The Brady Bunch. Let's see if you can guess who he is. like this at home. <laughs> I just had to make some sort of appearance. A far cry from the little boy we see in that picture. Oh! <laughs> How does does that amaze you? You only appeared in six episodes, but you are so memorable. Well, yeah, I mean, when you consider the fact that I mean, I I've done five or six series since then. I was on the Mary Tyler Moore show for 2 years. I mm -hmm. did uh, I did a lot of stuff. I was on a show with David Hartman called Lucas Tanner. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and so I did all of these, you know, I did all these TV shows, but boy, six episodes of that one thing, and I was, in, I was in Italy America on a show. job. I was in Rome, and uh, kids were walking up to me and yelling in Italian, and the only word I understood was Brady Bunch. Are you serious? Yeah, it was really weird. And I mean, I did an episode of What's Happening with, uh, with Danielle. How and was I, that? And I grew up with the, Tina's brothers. I have to say that my brother competed against him on auditions, and every time he'd walk into the room and know that Robbie was there, that's it, it's over. He got oh, it. God, he there goes my gig. And I <laughs> he got get everything that as a kid. <laughs> so you all knew each other growing up? Yeah. yeah. Kind How of. cool is that? You had your own fraternity. <laughs> this is the Hollywood fraternity, man. Well, we have a clip of you from the Brady Bunch. Let's take a look at it. They're talking about the plan. Yeah, then that guy must be a spy, too. Yeah, but for the other side, he wants Sam to get the plans away from my dad. But if that guy's the enemy, Sam must be, too. That's right, and if he is, then Sam's secretly working against my dad. You know what, Oliver? What? And once I see the plans, I'll have an idea of what it's going to cost you. Sam's a double agent. <laughs> Nothing more.
more painful than on a regular basis hearing, you were so cute. Oh. I'm like, were? Oh, my now. Oh, you still are. I'm and just looking for the attention. Hair. What? The oh, hair yeah, is better cool. hair. I'm digging that. that is <laughs> it's kind of like a. Uh, Mad Max or sort of Beyond Thunder. Sure, thing. sure. Uh, the, mullet, the, the mullet dude? is making a big comeback, and I'm just, I'm, I feel like I'm riding the crest That's of the right. wave. So. That's right. <laughs> do it. You can do it. Yeah. What was the best part about being on that show, though? Gosh, I, is it all the other kids? It's, I mean, it was so long ago. You know, I was nine, and when you're nine, you know, I, everything's no, everything's great. Me. Ultimately, it's the the X factor is the parent. I, right. I think all. Yeah. all I was about all to say that that, that, yeah. that would have to be got it. pretty lucky yeah. that way. That right. we, you know, turned out as normal as we did. Uh huh. Um, but. So, dude, what's up with the guitar? I mean, oh, it's just a it's just a prop. I you know. So I, you don't play it? Uh, yes, I do. Actually, I'm I've in the last. Gosh, I don't know how many years, 15 years, I've probably released 10 records and I've produced a bunch of acts. And what? Yeah. Yeah. So can you play us a little something to sure. take us to break? Sure. And I'm also a, I'm also a recording engineer for a, uh, a company that does, like, email commercials. So Are I'm you like, you know, I don't really wait do minute, anything, wait but I do a lot of stuff. Really? <laughs> yeah. I've been told that. <laughs> Well, Take let's see. I found it fitting. Are, are we going to a break? Is that yes, but can I give you an intro? Oh, uh, 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 just say, uh, this is Robbie. <laughs> the stylings of Robbie. Yeah. Let's see here. I suck, right? <laughs> uh, you close your eyes for a second. Young mothers seem more like children than they did before. No trouble approaching girls that I don't know. Well, I guess I'm not a kid anymore. Woo! And when we come back, we'll be the time for Star is Glue. One of our co-stars also co-star with me in the sitcom Living Single. Who is she? We'll find out. Don't go away. Are you a teen or preteen whose mom is constantly out partying and bringing guys home? If you feel like you're the parent and your mom's the child, let's talk about it. Call 1-877-LATIFA. Computer Education Institute can light the path to your future. I wanted to change careers and learn computer networking. I heard there was a real shortage of computer people. I chose Computer Education Institute to get started on my new career because I heard they were the best. I didn't think I would have the money, but I qualified for government financial aid. After seven months, I was done. I have this great new job with good pay, and I have a great career ahead of me. Call 800-206-0095 for a brochure. Throughout Southern California, 800-206-0095. This fall, take a trip. We're only boarding rows nine and above right now. You'll have to wait. Hit the to road. meet the parents. You know, Greg's in medicine, too. Oh, really? What field? Uh, nursing. <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot of men in your profession, are there, Greg? Critics are calling it absolutely, hands down, the funniest movie of the year. Have you had premarital relations with my daughter? No. I Let's skip that question. Meet the parents, rated PG-13. Now playing everywhere. According to recent FBI data, there's one burglary every 14 seconds. When it only takes an instant for someone to become a victim, we can't afford to blink. That's why you need to call now. Brinks Home Security. The eyes you want watching over your home. The Brinks name has meant unblinking vigilance for over 140 years. Brinks was chosen to guard some of the world's most irreplaceable objects, like the first moon rocks, the Declaration of Independence, Brinks Home Security continues the tradition to this day with state-of-the-art monitoring that keeps your home protected. Whether you're there or whether you're not, call 1-800-9-BRINKS and get a standard system installed with more protection options available. Remember, crime is always just seconds away, so make the only choice, Brinks Home Security. Call now and get a standard system installed for just $99, plus a second keypad installed absolutely free. Brinks Home Security. 
My name is Erin Sadam, and I've been a bonds checker for 10 years. Hi, Erin. How are you? Good, Miss Haley. How are you? I figure I'm here to help you get the most out of our store. If you don't know about a buy one, get one free, I'm going to tell you about it. You buy soda every week, I'll let you know when you should buy a case. And how about coupons? We've got thousands of discounts every week. If you don't have your Vons Club card out, I'll ask you for it. Did you guys have your card today? You're going to save money with that card, and I'm going to help you. And look how much you save. I want to make sure you save. That's my job as a checker. Guys who say they were trapped by a pregnancy. Now, one of these ladies is busted. You are not pregnant. Whoa. Next on New Latifah. Tina Yeathers, Danielle Spencer, and Robbie Rist. Are you ready to meet our final sitcom star? Yeah! All right, here's the last clue. Can you say hello to our audience and give them a clue as to who you are? I just had another one of my brilliant ideas. Yeah! <laughs> you got it! You got it on the The whole country had a crush on this girl. Please welcome Blair from Facts of Life, Lisa Westrow! Were you aware at the time when you were doing this show that every guy in America was, like, in love? Don't be shy. You know, every guy in America was in love with some Blair. Uh, no, I, I still question that. <laughs> Do you remember? Yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me get over here and talk to this guy over here. Let me get an eyewitness account. <laughs> talk to me about your feelings. Oh, it is an honor to be here with you. I used to enjoy watching you every day after school. and Lovely, still lovely, oh. still very lovely. Thank you. I can't face her without my own Miss Perfect. Then all we need is a blonde goddess to go with him. Now, don't rope me into this. <laughs> no, it's okay. Look, I'll live. Actually, it'd be quite useful. I've got this new formal gown I've been wanting to break in. You mean you go? George, what you want is revenge. It's shallow, vindictive, and immature. Let's go for it. <laughs> Who was that? Was that George Clooney? That was George that Clooney? Clooney, yes. Do you guys remember that George Clooney was on The Facts of Life? Gosh, if I had I known swear. he was going to turn out as good as he did, I might have worn makeup on the set more often. Girl, I feel you. I, I didn't even realize that was him. He does until look very different. Kim Fields, who I had the pleasure of working with on Living Single, was like, oh, he was on Facts. I said, that was the guy from Facts of Life. Yeah. He does look good. I different. think you all missed the boat. You all missed the boat. <laughs> you you poor ladies. You, but you're married now. You yes. have kids. You have a new book out. Right. What's that book about that you have out now? It's called Creative Correction, and it's a parenting book. And it's, um, it's basically it's hundreds of practical and creative ideas to discipline your children beyond timeouts and spankings. Oh, this is cool. And it's a beautiful cover. And there's the book. So go get a copy of that and check it out. Yeah. All right, congratulations Thank to you, you on your book. Now, do you ever watch reruns of the show? Uh, I hadn't, but they just started airing on uh, Nick, Nick at Night. night. I've so, been catching it, too. Yeah, so actually we were gathering the kids around and watching it, and it was a really fun experience, although I think I got in trouble. And they said, oh, Mom, I can't believe you said that, or I can't believe you wore that. Because <laughs> you're a grown woman now. You're like their mom. Yeah. Now, what do they think about seeing you on there? Oh, they think it's really fun. As a matter of fact, it's, they're so cute. They'll just, you know, be in the line, and they'll just say, well, Mom, is Facts of Life going to be on tonight? <sighs> Mom? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Was that hard for you? Now, we, we've kind of gotten there. Your, your fellow uh, TV stars here, uh, opinion on the whole thing. But how was it for you growing up? You were so popular. Was it hard? Was it ever hard for you, or was it just smooth sailing? It was a lot of fun, but it, it really was difficult to go through puberty on television because, um, you know, those are some years that you do kind of want to forget, and it's, they're bringing them back on. And mm -hmm. <laughs> so it was, it was difficult also for my character just because uh, a lot was expected of me and the way I look. and. 
so I went through those awkward, you know, years, and um, that that was hard because you you're supposed to be perfect on television, and so if you're not, you can kind of get in trouble. Would you have your kids go into it? No, I wouldn't. Just let them be kids. You know, it, for me, um, and I and I understand the differences of opinions, but it's. Um, a lose-lose proposition. I mean, either they're going to be really successful, and then um, where do you go from there? You, this is not a reality. Uh, show business is not reality. And so then when they do have to go into reality, that's, that's kind of a hard transition. Or, or you're told, or you're not successful, and you're told you're, you know, too ugly, too fat, too short, not good enough every day wow. at every audition. Wow. So, so there is a dark side. Yeah. I was really fortunate because we, uh, we stopped the show in March of 88. I was married in July of 88. Found out 10 months later I was pregnant and had three kids three years in a row. So I was able to go from a really great life to even better life. Whoa. <laughs> What's your husband's name? <laughs> Superman? <laughs> Whoa. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Three in a row and a hey, back up off of me. <laughs> let me get a break here. Let me, get, let me recuperate for a minute. Well, thank you so much for being here today. And when we come back, we're going to find out how much our former kids sitcom stars know about their own shows. Former kids stars play sitcom Jeopardy! After this, don't go away. We don't have to go. Do you have a story that's so amazing you think you should be a guest on Queen Latifah? Let's talk about it. Call us at 1-877-LATIFAH. You are on the run. We can help. Fly to Frankfurt and meet Frieda in the Café Friedrichstraße. She will have strudel. I can't go to Germany. But I thought you were a Frankfurter. No. I'm a hot dog! Oh. <sighs> Wiener Schnitzel, America's most wanted hot dog. And now, try our new bratwurst, topped with freshly grilled onions and mustard. Just 99 cents. <laughs> hey, Nita, these tailgate parties are so much fun. Lottie, I can't wait till this party gets going. It won't be long now. Only four more hours. Yes! Big K! Hey! Big K Dollar Days is one party you don't want to miss. Dollar Days now through Saturday. Big K Mart, the place you already know, only better. Oh, oh my goodness. Have you listened to the new KZLA lately? Country 93.9, the new KZLA. This kiss, this kiss. How do you like me now? Real singers, real songs, words you can relate to. Cowboy Country 93.9, the new KZLA. This is music for everyone. Ever wonder where the real music went? Country 93.9, the new KZLA. A million and a half customers, over 12 million packages a day. And DeVry graduate Nancy Hoeing is doing her part. She's responsible for 400 people in 29 countries. In charge of international field service for United Parcel Service. DeVry has helped me to achieve my goals. They taught me that the key to success is integrating technology and people. Reach for the sky. Call 1-800-DEVRAI-11 for a higher degree of success. Hey, what's up? If you're in New York and you want to come be a part of our studio audience, give us a call toll-free at 1-877-485-7144. <laughs> sitcom stars and now we're gonna put them to work we want to see how well they know their own shows as well as each other's shows we're gonna play TV sitcom Jeopardy <laughs> I'm in a silly mood today all right Emmanuel you're up first what TV sitcom would you like to pick other than yours what's happening what's happening <laughs> all right here we go what catchphrase was made famous by Dwayne on What's Happening? Was it A, Dino Mine? Or B, Hey, Hey, Hey? A? Hey. It was B, Hey, Hey, Hey! <laughs> okay, Tina, it's your turn. What show do you want to pick from? We'll take 
facts of life for 500, please. All right. <laughs> for 500. <laughs> facts of life was a spin-off from this popular oh, no. 80s sitcom. This is oh, no. fair. It seems that Blair knows the answer to this. What is it? <laughs> Does this mean you don't know the answer? I don't know. You don't know? You mm -hmm. don't know. Well, Go I'm for offended. it, Blair. Different strokes. Uh -huh. oh, she is right. Yeah, she is. Did you know that? Yeah, I did know that. I, 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 I was going to say that. You were going to say it. But you had to she, say it. You couldn't. I just like the way she wanted to steal it. Where are you? <laughs> oh, no. Sorry. That's right. Charlotte Ray was on Danielle, yeah. it's your yes, turn. Yes, she was. Which Judy one do you want to pick one. from? I'm feeling the Brady Bunch. The Brady Bunch. No, you're not, right. not yet. You're not. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I mean is, you could be feeling the Brady Bunch if you want. Another show. That's another show. Another show. We are now moving to cable so that we can complete the game. Okay, Alice thought that he had the best sausage in town. Who was he? The butcher. Sam the butcher. She's yeah. hot. Oh, yeah. See? Yeah. All right, Robbie. Since I, since I was one of the final four for Alex P. Keaton, uh, Are you I'm gonna, serious? I'm going to say Family Ties. Oh, wow. wow. Could you imagine him as Alex? Well, that show would have been rocking, man. <laughs> Off the hook. Okay, don't tell David Arquette, but she played Alex P. Keaton's friend on the hit series. You got it. Courtney Cox. Courtney Cox it is. Lisa, there's only one show left. So you get Webster. All right. Are I you like ready? <laughs> this is going to be hard. Unless you want to, you can steal this if you want to. I'm going to let you steal this, Tina, if you know oh the answer. God. So the question is what was George and Catherine's last name? A. Snuffleupagus. B. Papadopoulos. C. Macnopoulos. I know, I know, I know, I know. Go for the steal. Papadopoulos. Papadopoulos! 